Greetings, I'm Roger Newbold, and welcome to episode number 40 of Experience Photography. My fellow photographer, good friend, partner, and editor for this episode is Mr. Matt Rich. Now, he's the man with the power, and he's surveyed the entire state of affairs. He's the one that approves of all that goes on. He makes the entire, you know, the vlog project operational. Are you there, my friend? <laughs> Excellent. You know, in our most recent past episode, we exposed the technical facts about the inverse square law. And thanks to Cynthia for her request in this episode. Now, we hope to, you collected a bunch of new tips and advice and a lot of encouragement to get out there and shoot with confidence when using artificial lighting circumstances. Now, today's episode is originated from a suggestion that came as a request from Howard. We, we really thank you for your interest. We deeply appreciative of what we've learned from photography. Now, Matt and I have invested many years in this endeavor, and maybe you have as well. Not only have we learned about the beauty of the surroundings of us, but we also got an entire course in chemistry while pursuing darkroom skills. We got a course in light while developing uh, the episodes on exposure and flash. And we had some hard learned lessons about optics when we were dealing with view cameras. Now those skills are only a partial list of the virtuous lessons of life. How about learning to say no to the good, yeah, and say yes to the best. Therefore, this week, we're going to talk about the valuable information available to you right directly from the back of your camera. Don't tell me that in a weak or tired moment, you've never said, oh, that's it, let's go. I'm done. Good enough. You know, we've all, all had missed and, and said this and had missed incredible opportunities because we, because we gave up too soon. We put away the camera thinking that the clouds had done us in, only to see this gleaming, glowing, flaming sunset explode just before shrinking below the horizon. Oh, we'd all switch the camera power off along with our minds because we'd already seen something in someone else's version from where we stood. And we did it without even a second thought to the fact that, could I do better? Oh, come on. Turn around, select a different point of view, like lying on the ground or standing on the tailgate of your truck. Try different lenses for a different perspective. Zoom, walk, look, come on! Whether you're talking about a job, a relationship, or an artistic pursuit, there is ample opportunity to, to drive yourself further and to do better. Greater things will challenge you, help you develop as a person, invigorate you, and help you to strive to be the best self you can be. So don't quit on yourself. Take a look at this video. Little flowers and uh, we're going to take a picture of this. So let's uh, take a look and see what we can do with this little crop. 
Hey, look, we're out here taking some photos today. Here we come. I find some really cool looking uh, Japanese anemone flowers. And I've got my Canon with my 51.8 standard lens. And boy, am I excited. Wow. Take a look at this. We're going to get a good picture of all of this going on. There we go. We got that baby right in program mode. We took a shot, everything will be perfect. No, I don't need to look at it. I got it, I heard it click. No, there's no reason to review that on the back of my camera. Why? It looks good, I can see it. I know I got it. Don't worry about it, where everything's fine. Hey, see that? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Caught it, just right. No sweat. Really? Well, maybe I did need a little more shutter speed. And it, crap, it, it looks a tad blurry. How about that? Plenty of shutter speed now. Ah, heck. There's too much time we spent on already. Let's go. I'm tired. Eh, wine, wine. What could have we had learned? Had we not been so careless, we could have checked the info screen and learned something before we walked away. You know, most of the battle in photography is just getting to the location. So don't leave until you've gone from eh, good to great. First off, we see the histogram. It indicates the exposure was pretty darn good. Well, caramba, any modern camera should be able to do that. But in the P mode, P probably doesn't care mode. The aperture and shutter speed are just applied in some random way from the camera. So we have movement in the wind, or maybe by the camera driver error. We've also forfeited depth of field and the control therein because it randomly, randomly chose an f-stop. Now reviewing the larger image, you may have also noticed the half-hearted quality of Mr. Autofocus. <laughs> Auto, oh, caramba. Focus and composition need your full attention. Else, why are you out there with a the camera? If you don't care, I'm pretty darn sure the camera doesn't care. Boosting the shutter speed Drop the uh, f-stop to 2.0. Well, it stopped the movement, but it kind of killed the picture. Egad, last week we decided that content was so very important, and so is quality. At some point in the sphere of things, you must take control and do better. Now, take a look at this piece of video. All right. We got the Japanese anemones out here, and we're going to take a picture. Right now, we're going to use the uh, Canon uh, camera with a uh, 90 millimeter tilt shift with a strong uh, tilt put into it to face down to get the f uh, face of the flowers. And we'll get a, a shot of that. Good. All right. And that. That will give us uh, a good shot. And we'll be checking out this on our back of our camera to see what our camera can teach us. Manual 125, F11, and auto. Yeah. The initial shot with the 90 millimeter tilt shift lens, we reviewed the info page. We observed the fact that we took control and shifted into the M or manual mode. Now, 
you could have just as easily moved into S or T mode and stabilized one variable, shutter speed or f-stop, and corrected the second uh, variable by fluctuating the plus or minus compensation control. But the camera is no longer in control of our destiny. Now we see we had adequate shutter speed for hand holding, in addition to the fact that we had sufficient f-stop for depth of field control. Now, the use of the tilt lens was perfect for the short-legged person like me. I could focus on all of the chest-high tops of the blossoms in one plane without a stool or a ladder. However, it's a splendid reason for me keeping one of those just-in-case three-step step stools in the back of my truck. I keep it there right next to my handy tripod and use it whenever it's needed. Now the info page enlightened us to the fact that the ISO had been set to automatic and it correctly raised the level to 640. Now in many cases I am not worried about ISO until about 1600. Then, reflectors or flash equipment must get involved. The histogram further denotes the biggest fault made. Yeah, I made one. Underexposed by about a stop. But, prior to exiting the subject position, looking at the back of the camera, I was warned either to reshoot with a new variable add a flash, or be prepared to make adjustment in post-production. Well, one stop. Pretty easy peasy in post. Now, I knew I was going into post anyway, in my case, Photoshop. I had to crop off the annoying little partial blossom on the right-hand side of the frame. I also gave it a small boost in curves and it resolved the exposure issue. Now, life's little secret. Happiness is a way of travel, not a destination. Come on, find joy in your journey. Strive for the best and foster great content. Don't, don't quit before you have accomplished your goal. Pay attention to life right now. You know, it's, it's really difficult to revisit it. Well, our friends, time is up for today. And Matt and I sincerely hope you've learned something from this episode. I hope you are happy with this so you can build and share with a new friend. Build the channel for us and build your skills for you. Subscribe. <laughs> Give us that big thumbs up. Tinkle that bell for future notifications. And uh, most of all, keep your eyes open. Everyone. Everyone, keep them open. So until we meet next uh, time on screen again, I offer you a tip of my hat. And I say to you, cheerio, my friends.